everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be going over how I annotate all of my books. Before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you guys could give this video a like and subscribe. First, I'm just going to be showing you all of the supplies that I use while annotating my books. Highlighters, I use the Midliner Highlighters from Zebra. I love them so much. It comes in so many colors and they are both dual tips. The top is chiseled and then the bottom is kind of, I guess, like a fine point tip. Then, these are my all-time favorite tabs. They are transparent, comes in so many different colors. I don't don't like how some tabs look. I think the ones with the arrows and then just the ones that aren't see-through, I just don't like how they look. But these, I absolutely love how they look on my book. And then, if I want to make any marks in my book or just write little notes, I use this Muji pen and it is in 0.5mm. So all of these things I will have linked down below if you're interested in getting these items. So I'm the type of person where my notes have to look pretty or else I will throw them away. It took me a very long time to kind of, I guess, find my aesthetic in annotating my books in an eye-pleasing way. The way that I annotate is fairly simple. I kind of just highlight what I like and then make notes if I had a reaction to it. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth on what I choose to annotate and how I choose to annotate. Just flipping through the book, you can see that I have a lot of different tabs and just like little markings throughout the book. You can just see that I highlighted things that I enjoyed. My whole world would end up next door, held in the palm of a skinny nerd named Elliot Lewis however you pronounce his last name. And then I just put a tiny heart because I liked that sentence. Again, I highlighted things, some things I just wanted to underline. Here I wrote the words OMG because I freaked out reading this. Honestly, just all personal preference on what spoke to you in the book. There's no right or wrong words to highlight. I think it's just important to kind of just see whatever makes you think, whatever makes you have a reaction, whatever makes you feel. You can see that I did some notes in some places. Some places I left blank here. I thought this was funny, so I put LOL. And then I'm going to show you my annotated copy of Some Kind of Perfect, just in case some people want to see what it's like to have different colored tabs in a book. I kind of just did the same process as I did with Love and Other Words. I just highlighted things that I enjoyed and because there were multiple colors I didn't want it to be too over complicated so I just did yellow and I liked how it turned out again I just highlighted parts that I like I underlined some things and then if there was a scene that made me feel a certain way I made note of it in the margins or something so the way I annotate is fairly simple nothing too crazy so one thing that I want to show too is that the highlighter and the pen does not bleed through on the next page, which I really like. And then I also just want to show you what it would look like to actually highlight and annotate. I'm going to be highlighting these lines here. I love the tip for these highlighters. I think they're perfect for books. I just love how it looks when I finally highlight on a book. I think these are the perfect highlighters for books just because it's not too thin, it's not too thick. And this is what the pen looks like. It's just like a regular gel pen. And I also don't like it when the sticky is directly on top of what I highlighted. I'm not sure why. So I'll put it like a little above and then I'll make sure that it like slightly goes over the page because I don't want it to stick out so much. So a majority of it will be inside of the actual book and then a tiny bit of it will be sticking out. I know a lot of people like to use different colored highlighters or different colored tabs, but I am not one of those people. I take love in other words for example i just finished reading this if you look at the tabs they're all orange because the cover is orange i wanted everything to kind of be cohesive and match one thing too i hate when tabs stick all the way out i don't think that is very eye pleasing so i try to put mine as far into the page as possible looking at it sideways you can hardly tell that there are tabs in it but when, when you actually do look at the book you can see the tabs in there same thing again for ugly love i use blue tabs again to match the cover and then these are my tabs for wherever you are and whatever it takes the bad rough duet and as you can see they're just really far in to the pages but that's just how i like it because i don't want it to stick out the only book that i've done a different annotating style was some kind of perfect as you can see i have multiple colors and that's because each color represents a different character because this book is six povs how i did it was i did 
colors based on their Hogwarts house. I have dark green for Low, yellow for Lily, and then I have red for Rike. And then to kind of just go with the red, I had Daisy as pink. And then Connor I had as a dark blue. And then Rose I had as a light blue. And then any time it has to do with like a child or any time a child was born, I did like pink. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I annotate my books. I hope this was helpful for you if you didn't have a certain annotating style or you didn't know how to make it look nice. I think the way I annotate my books is pretty simple, but I love how it looks and it's just very aesthetically pleasing to me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'm hoping to upload at least two videos a week now that I'm finished with school and I'll see you guys in my next video.